the KCK, or Kelly's Coho Killer, originated by Kelly Davison, is not so much a pattern as it is a design. It follows the skinny outline, typical for coho flies, and it is effective in both saltwater and freshwater. Keep the fly moving. Cohos like to chase. The hook is a Chemco 777SP in size 4. The thread Danville in hot orange, Flymaster 60. Attach just back of the eye, then run down the shank. Tail material, some barbs, scarlet. It's a sparse tail, in fact, this entire fly has sparse written all over it. The body material is plastic chenille. I'm using a, a sort of a, a burgundy or a claret. I've stripped away a little bit of the end to minimize tie-in bulk. Then simply returned thread to shortly behind the eye. Wrap is sparse. Body with the plastic chenille. And once the thread is reached, just tie it off and trim away the waste. For the hackle, it's a scarlet hackle. And in order to keep it extra sparse, I've stripped away one side. Tied in, trim away the stem, clip on some hackle pliers, and form a sparse collar. Three turns, trip the tip, trim the tip, trap the tip. and angle it back slightly. We're taking one or two turns tight in front. Pull it off to the side a little. Make a bit of a platform for the wing. The wing is some uh, mallard flank feather. It's only a small strip that I'll be using. Sparse is the name of the game. And I laid them on top to make it kind of level with the bend of the hook. Position it on top. Keep it lying low like this. Finally, I'm tying in two strands of crystal flash. This is a fluorescent shrimp pink. Tied in on top, 
then fall back. Or two strands that are facing over the eye. Now tidy up the neat head. And finish off with a three or four turn work finish. Trim away the thread and also trim the crystal flash so it's level with the end of the wing. And that completes. KCK or Kelly's Coho Killer.